Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through how to derive the quadratic formula popularly known as the almighty formula. We know that you can solve quadratic equations using factorization method, even graph, uh, completing the square method and using formula method. The quadratic formula is simply s is equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a as you can see now how did this equation come about if someone asks you the question prove that s is equals this how do you go about it so let's look at the genesis of the quadratic equation the formula actually uh, came from completing the square method the knowledge of completing the square the standard form for quadratic equation is a s square plus b s plus c is equals zero where a b and c are always known and remember that when you solve quadratic equation you arrive at two answers and these are called roots of the equation given this you know that this is the same thing as a s square plus b s is equals minus c so we are taking the constant to the other side to leave only the ones with s if that's understood let's make s square stay alone we want s square to have coefficient of one to do that you agree with me that if we divide here by a and divide here by a and divide here by a this will be simply left with s square and the reason we are dividing every other part by a is that in mathematics anything that happens to one should happen to all this is what keeps the equation balanced if that's understood a over a here will be left with s square plus b s over a is equals minus c over a now in completing the square method or to solve quadratic equation using completing the square you get to this stage when you get to this stage you do something the coefficient of s is simply b over a that's the coefficient of s what you do in this case and in completing the square method generally is you have the coefficient of s and square so this is the same thing as 1 over 2 b over a or square so we are have we are having the coefficient of s and we are squaring it so it's the next stage you simply come here and say s square plus b s over a plus half b over a square is equals minus c over a plus half b over a square simplifying that we should have s square plus b s over a plus the square of b is b square uh, 2 square is 4 to give you 4 a square is a square right so we have this here so similarly here we have minus c over a plus b square over 4a square if you say s plus b over 2a square you simply tell me that it's the same thing as s plus b over 2a s plus b over 2a and you tell me that it's the same thing as s times s that's s square plus s times b over 2a will give you b s over 2a plus this will give you b s over 2a plus this times this will give you b square over 4a square so that means s plus b over 2a square is the same thing as s square plus b s over a plus b s over 2a plus b s square over 4a square which you can simplify to get s square plus 2bs over 
a over 2a plus b square over 4a square, which is a square plus bs over a plus b square over 4a square. Now, why did I do that? I did that because if you compare to this, look at this, a square plus bs over a plus b square over 4a square. So, this is the same thing as this, and it's the same thing as this. So this shows that s square plus b s over a plus b square over 4a square is the same thing as s plus b over 2a square. So putting that here or, or replacing it with this, you have s plus b over 2a square is equals. So let's look for the LCM here. LCM there is simply 4a square. 4a squared divided by a will be left with 4a. 4a times minus c will give you minus 4ac plus b squared. So, this is the same thing as s plus b over 2a square is equals b square minus 4ac over 4a square. Now to remove this, uh, to remove square from here, we look for square root of both sides. Looking for square root of both sides, this will give us s plus b over 2a is equals square root of b square minus 4ac all over 4a square. This is the same thing as s plus b over 2a is equals square root of b square minus 4ac all over. Now, uh, the square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of a square is a. So here we are left with 2. A. So let's take this b over 2a to the other side. It becomes s is equals. Now cross e, it becomes minus b. So we have minus b over 2a plus all over 2a. So plus or minus. So Plus or minus because it's a quadratic equation. You are expected to have two different answers. So that's what that one comes in. The plus and minus help you to get the two possible values. Now, there is 2a here, there is 2a here. So we can simply look for the LCM. So the LCM is 2a. In that case, here becomes minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac. So look at this and compare to this. They are the same, right? So that's how you derive the quadratic or almighty formula for quadratic equation. So take a look at it once again. And don't forget to ask me questions in case you are confused anyway. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to this channel.